In the last video we tested our photo upload and now we're ready to add it to the photos node and add it to the user photos node. So we're going to create a new method here. Uh, I'm going to call it add photo to database and inside this method we're going to take the caption and whoops just pass the caption sorry pass the caption and then pass the image URL or no the download URL so this Firebase URL right here and so let's create this method we'll go down just below here uh, do private uh, void what is it add that add photo to database so add photo to database and we're going to take the caption and then take the uh, url and inside of this method basically we just want to insert the nodes so it's pretty gonna be pretty straightforward the only thing that's going to be a little tricky is extracting the tags because uh, in the database we want to, I don't have a model up here, but in our photo model here, remember we were getting the tags and separating it from the caption itself. So we, whoops, we need to actually get those tags. So let's go into Firebase methods and we'll just log, so um, adding photo to database and then below that we're going to create a new photo ID because we new photo ID sorry because each new each photo is going to have its own separate ID and we can just do my ref child and then context get string or that's string not photo or photos three photos that was named photos and then oops dot get push dot push that will create the new uh, key and then get key and so basically this is just going to be a string it's going to be like a random string just like you always see in the firebase database just like one of these random strings right here to denote the id of the photo and then we're going to create our photo object so photo photo equals new photo and we want to do photo set caption just to our caption and then photo uh, we need to set the date created and to get the date created i'm going to actually create a method uh, to get the timestamp, so I'm going to call that get get timestamp. I haven't created that method yet, so then photo set image path, and that's where we're going to pass that URL, and then photo uh, set tags, and we're going to have tags which I haven't created yet either, and then photo set user ID. And this is going to be Firebase auth get instance get user get user ID. So the uh, the get Let's create actually the tags up here really quick first. So string tags equals, I'm just gonna set it to null for now. But basically we're gonna create a method to extract the tags from the caption and then store them individually. And now let's uh, create this get timestamp method here. So private, or no, it's not gonna be void. It's gonna be private string get timestamp and it's not gonna take anything. And let's make that a lowercase. Make that a lowercase. And so what we need to do for this is do simple date format. I'm just going to call it SDF equals new simple date format. And this is where you want to format what your dates are going to look like. I'm going to do year, month, day. And then we do T for the time zone. And let's see here then. Hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. And then the capital Z. And I am just going to do uh, the U.S. even though I'm in Canada. Actually, why am I going to do the U.S.? I'm going to do Canada. Canada. And uh, then SDF dot set time zone. And this is where you can, there's a, there's a large list of time zones. I can't actually remember where. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Uh, list of Android time zones. Yeah, here it is. So list of all Android time zones. These are the different time zones that you can use. So if you want, you can just Google that. And you can just put them in here by going uh, time zone dot get time zone. And this is where you would type what you saw in that list right there. I'm going to use Canada Pacific time because that's where I'm from. And then SDF dot format. And then you do new date. And that's it. So that will return a, a time in this format from your time zone. And that's what we're going to put right here. Okay, so now we're going to need to work on a method to actually extract the tags from the caption. And to do that, we're going to go into our string manipulation and we're going to create a new static 
method for extracting the tags from that caption. So we'll go public, static, string, get tags, string, string. And so if string dot index of the number sign is greater than zero, meaning in other words, if there is tags included, then we want to do some stuff. So string let's do string builder sb equals new string builder and we can do character array char array equals string dot two character array and let's go boolean found word equals false. Uh, so now let's iterate through those characters. So character C all the way up to character array and if C equals the number sign then we know we found a tag. So found word equals to true S and in that case we want to append that character because we found we found something with uh, the number sign else if we want to do found so if found word is true that means we found one and we want to do sb append c okay now where are we going we're going down here we want some more logic and this is going to be if the character equals blank we have to do something different so in that case found word is equal to false because it's just a blank space we're not actually looking at a word and at the end string s equals sb dot two string uh, dot replace we want to replace the empty space with no space and then also we want to replace the number signs with com whoops with comma number sign that way we can actually uh, see them separated otherwise they're just going to be in a list and then return s dot substring one s dot length and that is meant to be a comma okay so i think i kind of explained it as i went but if a tag exists that means okay we actually have tags in the caption because not every caption has to have tags you don't you don't have to tag something if you don't want to so then we iterate through the character array looking for tags if a tag is found, that means we found a new word. So the Boolean found word gets set to true. Uh, and we want to append that character. And basically, it will just keep iterating through that until it reaches either a space or it reaches a new tag. And in that case, it's just going to keep appending, which is totally fine. And then at the very end, we just replace any blank spaces with no spaces and we replace any hashtags which we've appended uh, with a comma hashtag so it'll ha it'll still start with uh, a bunch of characters with the caption the tags all that stuff and then at the end of it you're going to have everything filtered out with just the tags and the words separated by commas that's what so um, in other words i guess you could say uh, in what it will look like is like some description uh, tag one you know tag uh, whoops tag two other tag and then out will look like uh, just tag one comma uh, tag two comma tag three that's that's what it will spit out so and then that's actually something we can we can work with right because then it's easy to this is what we're going to store in the firebase database because then moving forward it's going to be very easy to deal with a list like this because then we can just separate it based on the commas and it's it's very simple and i need one more return statement here return string so this this would be the case if, if there's no tags if there's no tags then we don't care we just return nothing okay so that should be good now let's go into firebase methods here and we need to call that method so let's go uh, string manipulation get tags and we want to pass the caption and that should oh and i need to set the photo id i don't it doesn't look like i set that so set uh, photo id and then that's going to be the new photo key okay and then finally i guess insert into database and to do that we just do my ref child 
it's very simple. Uh, and then so context, context get string r dot string dot photo should be database name. I guess we do user photos first. Doesn't matter. Child, and this is where we're gonna put the new photo key, and then we set the value to photo. And the next node is gonna be very similar because that's gonna be the user settings node or user photo photos node, and this is just gonna be the photos node. And let's see here. But this is the user one. Oh, this is actually different. Sorry. So it goes user photos node, and then we're gonna need to insert the user ID. So Firebase auth, get current, get instance, get current user, get user ID. I'm gonna actually give some more space here. So get the user ID, and then the new photo ID, and then the photo. Uh, but with photos, we just are gonna straight up insert the photo ID, and then insert the photo. Very straightforward. And that should be good. So uh, let's test this really quick before we move on to the next video and just make sure everything is working correctly. Okay, so let's go up to share new photo and I'm just gonna grab this one here, put it next, some descript, description, and let's do um, Mitch coding with Mitch. And so I'm also, so notice here I put, I put a space between Mitch and coding with Mitch but here I'm not gonna put a space just to kind of test different scenarios. Uh, I guess I'll just say other tag, other tag. And let's hit share. So attempting to upload a new photo, there's your progress. Still no percentage there, I need to change that. Uh, I thought I did change that. So let's make text, upload progress. That should be showing a percentage there. That's strange that it didn't. Maybe it was on the next line, I didn't see it. Anyway, so let's go uh, to the Firebase database now. And uh, what do we got? Oh, I forgot to call the method. Uh, so here, oh, I did call it add photo to database. But if I look at the database, I don't see anything inserted. So something definitely went wrong. Let's check out the, the old Android monitor. So that just gives us progress. Upload, upload new photo, add photo to database. So let's, so that, this method never gets called, add photo to database. Hmm, that's weird. Maybe because these aren't final. Final, final, that's a string. So we need to call two string on that. I'm guessing that's why the method never got called. I don't know why it didn't crash or throw an error, but let's test that again. Uh, I'm sure the image actually did get uploaded to the database, so let's check the storage. Photos, user, user ID, and no, it didn't actually upload. So uh, weird that it didn't give me a failure message, but anyway, let's try that again. So new photo, let me just grab anyone here, hit next. It's gonna go test, tags test, uh, Mitch, and then space, and let's do coding with Mitch, just to test kind of how the tags are doing it. Let's hit share, attempting to upload photo, photo progress, there's our percentage sign. So I'm not sure what happened last time actually. So photo upload success, now let's check the, the storage. Still getting photo three, but that's the new photo. Which makes sense because it counted what was currently there and there was only two currently there because before we didn't insert anything to the database. So that's actually what we expect. And if we look in user photos, there's our new photo ID right there and here's our new photo. So the caption contains all that information and you can see the tags actually did exactly what we wanted it to. We now have a list of tags separated by commas and everything looks good there. Uh, we can check in the photos node too. So we see photos, there's the photo ID and there's the photo, and inside user photos, we have the photo underneath that user ID. So everything looks like it's working the way it should. So in the next one, we're gonna carry on working on our Instagram clone. Uh, we're gonna navigate to the main feed after we've uploaded a photo, and I'm not sure what we're gonna do after that, but I'll let you know in the next video.